All right, guys, what's up? This is uh, David, A.K. Reverse Long, and I'm here doing a Discord review of the past week from the 21st, so February 21st through the 24th. The 21st was Tuesday. It's a shortened week. We had a holiday on Monday. Um, and, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm going to go over this. Now, I want to make it clear. So these Discord reviews are not going to be, like, forever. This is, like... I think maybe I'm going to make a separate playlist on the channel, maybe make like 10 or 15 max, and that's it. It's kind of like the bear talk. The bear talk has been helpful. I can point people out to a playlist. I'm like, yo, check. You want to see how I trade? All right, study all this. Like, And it weeds out a lot of people because like, I don't want to be talking to people uh, if they don't. If they're like, oh, it's too long. Just tell me. that. Like, I'm not here to to tell you anything, man. You can watch it. And if you watch it, you go through with it, that's how I weed you out. So, like, I've weeded out a lot of people that don't want to put in the work that are not interested in how I trade or, I don't know, they're just not dedicated. So, uh, one thing that's been great is, like, this funnels the, the right people to my world. And uh, it's been great. And, um, yeah, so now with the Discord, I want to do the same thing. So, it's like I want to make a track record of the Discord to, like, recruit new people potential people to show the credibility and to improve the culture of, of the discord. I want to have us all uh, on the same page, you know? Um, I said last time, it's like the fighter jets flying in formation. That is the goal. Like we're all flying in formation and like, you know what I'm saying? We're all coordinated, a coordinated effort to, to maximize um, our performance in the markets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're all in different levels which is fine, but we're all striving to perform very well. You know, uh, a few of us in here are, are good traders, very successful traders. And, you know, the ones that are working towards that, they're providing value, you know, by getting the screenshots, by looking for the stuff, looking for the dilution, looking for stuff in the filings. Because those filings are tricky, man. You got to go in there and, like, scoop the stuff out. You know, like, for example, B A E R. This past Friday, that one had like the $11 warrants, $11.50 warrants. We had the D-SPACs running for the past one. It's like communicating all that stuff in the chat and uh, and providing value. You know, there's absolutely going to be no lurkers in the trading floor. This is the trading floor um, right here. The general discussion is open for everybody. Knock yourself out. You want to be a lurker? Knock yourself out. I'll be talking in there. Other people are going to be talking in there. Everybody's talking in there. But like as far as intraday, at when the bullets are flying, um, no lurkers. This is it. And, like, I'm doing this review also to kind of rewind back on the week and see who who's a lurker and who's not or who's not contributing enough, et cetera. Um, you know what I mean? So it's just uh, we, we can have lurkers. You know what I'm saying? So the lurkers thing is, from my experience, I, I, I've, had, I've been in the game now, what, since full-time, since 2020, and, and – um, since 2021 or so, that's when I realized, okay, these lurkers are not, they're not welcome as far as like my personal groups, because like they're part of other groups and they're screenshotting and sending information there, hard, hard, earned, hard work on information, sending it, siphoning it out to someone else or some other, who knows? And um, it's just not worth it, you know? And it's not that, it's a no, it's a, it's pretty common sense. Like, you reciprocate, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so you, you don't just take value. You don't just be a leech. I, I know Reed and I covered that in a podcast in the past. You got to give value, you know what I'm saying? Always. It's not even that hard, you know what I'm saying? Just give good value, not like like some random one-liner or some random thing just to say, hey, I'm active. No, no, that's not enough. You got to really put a little – you got to show some some real value. Some It's like stepping it up, you know what I mean? Um, striving to be on the same page as, as us, as a unit in here, where we're we're striving for excellence. You know, we're, we're doing our best. We're we're going hard. I don't like, for example, Dorian. Dorian is the man. Dorian's came up with all this uh, pinned material right here. I'll show you. Like, he is the man. You know, this is a guy that's he's he's uh he's gonna be a sick trader. You know, in in no time. If he he keeps doing this, and, I, and there's no sign of him stopping, you know what I mean? This guy's just getting started. Um, and he's a mod in the chat for a reason, you know. So, um, with that, all right. So I know, like with YouTube, we got to see the analytics, and like 
Usually after 20, 15 minutes, the tension dies off. And I like that. That means I put the juicy stuff, maybe sometimes borderline controversial stuff, I put it deep in the podcast. Because I only want my homies uh, listening to that part. You know what I mean? So <laughs> if you're going to be one of these TLDR guys, that's cool, you know? But, um, you know, I'm also... I don't want to share the juicy stuff uh, just like that. I'm not going to be a guy. Why Why should I do that? All the hard-earned stuff, the 20 hours a day, years of grinding, I'm finally at where I'm at, you know, making the real money, sick money, life-changing money, and you expect me just to give it to you, like, like, and you don't even value it? Like, that doesn't make any sense. So I want the people to, to value it, and I only want to be connected to the people that value it. If you don't value it, then, like, why should I even care, like, if you got the info or not? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, I don't know. It's um also, on that note, you should – anyway, I, I don't know. Let's move on from that. But, um, but yeah, so, so far, I'm looking – this is the, the private chat, the trade trading floor. All right, we got – um. all right, I'm, I'm just taking a, attendance right here, so – so far, me, Art of War is joining us, and he's he's a personal friend of mine. He's he's getting on board hardcore. You should be very, pretty active coming up. Um, Engineer is always active. Um, Hyper Scalper Trader trades differently, which is good. Like we need we need all, overall it trades like us, but in a different way. And that's always good, like a different point of view. Uh, Marcelo's always active and pointing out good stuff. Round trip, same thing. He's kind of on vacation at the moment, but and uh, he, I know him, you know, on the side personally, so like he gets a little leeway because he's on vacation. Tien and Wes are the um, quant guys, and they're active and going. Wes is going, like you know, putting in the work, man. I'm excited to see where he goes. We did the podcast together of uh, the Q and A and um, going over one of the books. What was the book? I already forgot the book. But anyway, we already we went over the book. Uh, Ankle Biter is always he's active. Arky's active. Arsalan, of course. Um, Barack, of course, one of the mods. Boilermaker, one of the mods. Um, BS always active, and uh, he's a subscriber now of the Friendly Bear Podcast audio, where I go over like my daily trades. I make a five to 20 minute clip it seems like of my daily review on my own trades and i'm using that as a personal audio diary so like instead of me writing my thoughts out on, on a trader sync uh or a trader view i just do the audio now and I, i'm trying this out and you know i like it a lot so if you want to listen to that that's 10 bucks a month man you know and like 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 i said uh to, like i said on the diary i was like man i made like, I don't know, 15K last week, I don't need your 10 bucks. It's like I'm doing it, I, I, I enjoy doing it, and whoever wants the value, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to help. But also, it's not just anybody that gets the value. Because I know if it's some like Whale or someone that wants to steal strategies, they got, you know, it's, it's um, there's a lot of barriers there. So first of all, it's not on like Apple or Spotify. You have to click the link on the website. It goes to the, like the the friendly bear you have to get a subscription through there and it's also only, it's also only audio there's now charts involved you got to go on the side and make an effort to pull up the chart next to the audio and follow it so like it's almost like uh it's a lot of barriers so like it, it cuts out a lot of weird people that i don't want listening to my full-on personal audios um of my personal trading and, and like i'm using it as a way to to keep track of my own trades and uh so far there's a handful of people subscribed and i see who exactly is subscribed so you can't just be some weirdo trying to peek into my trades i know exactly who it is so like that is a good i'd say that that is a pretty pretty sick uh subscription if you ask me so um and i'm going through daily i'm going through the my whole if you want to learn how to journal that's probably like a really good example i'm going through like my thoughts uh, as I um, did the trade, because I'm doing this immediately after the trade. I used for for journaling, written journals, 
typing out journals, I usually wait till the next day. So it's kind of fuzzy. This one I'm doing immediately after the, the trading day. And I'm um, going through exactly my thought process, how I felt through the trade, how I felt during the day, how my what my mindset was going in. Everything is on there. So, yeah, uh, I'm doing those, and, and I like where that's going. But anyway, let's continue. Okay, but would you as my friend Justin, he's a mod. He does crypto. He's not, you know, so that's something else. He's just a mod helping out with the Discord, the ins and outs of Discord. The Artanagon, good trader. I think he was active, too. The Pina is active. Dorian, of course, super active and doing awesome things. Frenchie active. Joe, which is macro driver, he's he does our um summary of like the CPIs and Powell and stuff like that. So like he he's good for that. Johnny active. King Cellini active. Laza active. Luca, uh, Lucas, uh, Lucas Marin is is in um. Bangkok at the moment. He's but yeah, he's he's active when he needs to be. Round trip, okay. We already went over Ryan, active a um a specialist in the Chinese stocks. Saita, he's active uh when he needs to be. Sell the news is here. I did a podcast with him. He's he's been coming through with a lot of good stuff on the biotechs and pump and dumps. Stuff like that. Seema gain the same. TJ active as well, and Willem, of course. So, so far, just made a note of mental note. So, like, I'm seeing who's active here. Let's see. All right. Oh, and I had to kick out one person this week, and I'm going to go over that in depth why. I think it's good for people to know why and uh, for, for moving forward. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, so you can understand the ins and outs of why that guy is out. And, like, don't – and, and uh, yeah, just in the you got to use common sense uh, – if you're going to be in the group, you know what I mean? But anyways, let's see. Friday the 21st. Oh, no, no. February 21st this is Tuesday. S-E-R-A. Okay. See, this is good. Willem has stepped it up. I, I think this is benefiting him, these these uh reviews. Also, another thing. So, like, these reviews, yeah, they're public. And, like, whatever goes on in the group stays in the group. No screenshots anywhere else. Nothing. We don't share information. This podcast, I'm sharing it like after the fact. This is like a week later, and I'm sharing it a week later. You know what I'm saying? Like, or like after the week is over with. And this is like for the first 10 or 15 um, podcasts of the Discord. After that, there's not going to be any more of these. So this is a, a strategic thing, you know, that I, I've done. So like, the guy, I know the guy that um I kicked out. He was like, oh, well. I can screenshot because you you do it anyway on the weekend. Like, I, bro, I'm, I'm not here to argue. If you're going to be argumentative about this kind of stuff, and, like, I, I, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to explain myself. You got to use common sense and figure it out. Or be like, yo, David knows what he's doing. Let me just leave it up to him. Because, like, this is a free service, man. You know? Um, I'm not charging for this. Like, well, you want to complain? I, I, You know what I'm saying? You could just be part of the general discussion. You don't need to be here. I need to focus on my trading. I'm trying to perform my best. All of us in here, I know Dorian, Laza, everybody, we're all trying to perform our best. So we don't need, like, all, like someone coming in and sort of cause an argument for some stupid shit, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? Look at the, the Furu series. What is it? Masi? I did a – she charges 200 bucks for her Furu chat room. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying sign up for that. Do not sign up for that. But uh, but yeah, you know. So you can if you pay two hundred bucks for the chat, I could see like why you want to question things. But like, nah, man, this is a what like, I don't know. I think everyone should have the mindset of, you know, we're trying to improve our trading and also the mindset of being considerate, assuming sometimes that people might be in a trade. And you you don't want to distract them from that. If you're asking or saying stupid things and someone's in a trade or getting squeezed, sometimes you don't know. But you have to assume that someone could be dealing with the trade. That's, that's uh, you know, it's, it's stressful. You got to assume, for example, like me, I could have a trade on that's anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000 at any time. Um, so why would you want to distract me or bother me or, or have an argumentative conversation or or throw out some stupid questions at me you know it's not gonna work that's you know you do that a few times i'm just gonna boot you you know it's like and it is what it is it's like you got to be considerate 
you know? But anyways, that's why I'm doing these videos, so you can co be considerate. So you can see, you know, what, what, the, what the culture should be like. So you can be like, all right, now I understand. Now I'm going to... Now I know what uh, what to do and what not to do, you know, and, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm doing this. So you can use common sense and figure it out, you know, so like what helps and what doesn't, even though you should know some of that already. But anyway, okay, so Arky, good morning, good morning. Yeah, let's let's do the GMs. Good mornings when everybody's up. That's a, that's a good thing to acknowledge that we're all here. Um, and then 50. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, I'll go over that later. Yeah, this is the, the flying. Yeah, that's cool. That's exactly what we're looking for. Jets like that. That's us. All right, morning, ladies and gentlemen. IBIO, Arky. Okay, Arsalan's in here. TRKA. All right, so I, I mean, so Aren is posting a lot here, and he's the one that was out. So I'm just gonna say it, man. I uh, might as well just cover it now. So Aren was, um, you know, causing me a lot of aggravation in in the the regular hours chat, and also in the in the personal chat. Um, just keeps on and on and on. This is not now. He this is good. What he wrote here was good, but like later on, he starts saying he's the one that started saying, um. Uh, about the uh, what do you what do you call it? Oh yeah, like if you copy and because I said okay, no copying and pasting because like this is very delicate stuff in here, and he's like, oh why? You're gonna share it anyway. So first, and and I'm in like in the middle of the trading day, and I'm going and, and um addressing it, and he just keeps on and on. And then before that, right before that, he was, you know, on the message about me like going nonstop about uh center point and like what brokers are good, what brokers are bad, whatever broker, 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 and um. And I was like, bro, um, I have them all. I have Center Point, I have Success Trader, Guardian, Cobra, and Speed Trader. And uh, right now, I I closed off Speed Trader. I'm just using these four that I mentioned. And um, Cobra by far is the best one. Boom, like that's it, man. It's by far the best one. I even have a a, a little deal with them. I don't even make money for the deal. It's like it's like whatever, bro. I just put it out there. Like I, I like to be associated with with my the best one, especially the one that I use the most. So he's arguing with me. I'm like, bro, like, like what 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 I trade, like when I'm posting screenshots and telling you and explaining to you all the all the stocks that I'm trading, you know, like center point, cool. I have them too, but like to tell me that they're better, and I'm telling you, bro, they don't have a rebate route. I use Cobra because they have a rebate route. I use even Success Trader, the secondary one. They have a rebate route. I can trade these lower price tickers and recycle them because I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting, you know, uh, the ECN fees. And also their commissions are lower and they have better support. I have them on Slack. I get a talk and they give me free shares. So then like, cool. I can I can explain that to you. But if you keep going on and on and then tell me center point this and i was like okay i get it you you have dilution tracker for free trader sync for free and um trade ideas for free i have it too i have center point i have it too i get all that for free but you only get that for free if you trade a lot with them and like you know and you have no rebate route so you're getting you're getting all these commissions uh, on top of that and they don't have the best locates they don't have the best locate prices um uh, their support is not like Cobra support, whatever. Anyway, he starts saying, oh, I'm going to talk to a center point and get them to put a rebate route. I was like, bro, I, I already did that. I already contacted all the brokers and, and asked them for that. You know, I asked them. I basically, I literally said, just copy Cobra. Copy what they did with the REBL 25, RBE, REB 25L. Just copy it. You know, I even was at the freaking Wall Street in New York at one of these firms in the freaking private conference room with the glass around me saying, you know, on the phone with like the brass saying like of, of a <laughs> say, bro, just copy, copy the route. That's all we got to do. Copy the route and I'll use your brokerage more. <laughs> and I will talk about it all day long. And like, we try to do something. It didn't work. So you're telling me, that you can you with your twenty eight thousand twenty seven thousand dollar <laughs> dollar account 
on a nonstop rampage through the messages telling me that you're going to do this, you're going to, like, in the middle of the trading day, it's not going to work. That's actually, that's insulting my intelligence. Like, I told you exactly, I, like, that's why I say Cobra is the best one. I tried. I tried, man. It's, it, it doesn't work. You're not going to do better than I did. I'm the one with the podcast. I'm the one with, like, all these accounts. I have, I have, I know the ins and outs of every single broker. I've contacted all of them. I was at Wall Street. Literally in New York at Wall Street at the HQs of of a let's say a broker and trying to get this done and you think you're gonna do better you know so like I'm wasting this energy talking to someone that's like I'm talking to a wall and in the middle of a trading day like we're supposed to be flying in formation over here and then on top of that you're gonna go in the chat when I say all right don't share anything here you're gonna try to argue with me on that. And saying, oh, but you share on the weekends. Bro, now you you sound like you're just like a girl trying to get argumentative. Of course you're going to get the boot. So, yeah, you know, our, our end, like you provide a good value. This is the right stuff. But when you start to get argumentative and start getting sidetracked by the by other things, you know, it's it's not serving us. You know, it's not serving us in here. You're, you're going to cause a plane to crash. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like. It is what it is, you know, so like, you know, one guy has to eject, you know what I'm saying? So like that goes for everybody else. Um, If you're one of these people that was thinking about like this kind of stuff, but I didn't voice it. Now, you know, um, don't don't be like, don't don't you know, you got to adjust your thinking because like RN took the he was the guinea pig for that one, man. He took the, the hit and like it is what it is, man. Um, I'm not charging for this. And like I said in the past, I'm cool with just me, Arsalan. Marin, Lucas, Laza, and like Dorian, of course, and Barack and Boilermaker sell the news. Like just a handful of people. I'm cool. I already have the groups. So like, if you're gonna come in here causing problems, yeah, you, you the eject button is there. You can go flying out. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go to general discussion. And there's an old personal thing with our end. It's just like maybe his it's not a good fit. At the end of the day, it's just if it's not a good fit, it's not a good fit. So you know, it is what it is, man. But yeah, um, yeah, it is. It is what it is. You know, if this was a paid service, maybe I would uh have more leniency. But it's not a paid service, and I, like I've said a million times since, like many other podcasts, that's not my goal. My goal is to make as much money I can from the markets, not to not to do the educational route, not to sell a subscription. It's not. It's like the ten dollar thing for my private. What do you call it? The audio recordings. I don't make anything off that. That's just a barrier to entry. You put skin in the game. You put your money where your mouth is, and and uh, I get to see exactly who it is in there, you know. So that's that's the, why I do that. Now this one, the uh, the chat, you know, you better you better be on your p's and q's. And um, also, if um, screenshots of this, this is crazy, man. Like ever since I've been trading in like in Puerto Rico till now, it's like the world is very small with, with the short selling small caps. It's like when you say something about someone, it usually comes back to you. It comes back around. You hear about it. So if someone, for example, shares screenshots here to somewhere else, it usually, eventually I hear back, you know, and then that's a immediate dismissal right there. That's grounds for immediate dismissal. So, you know, there's going to be some of that, like, you know, there's a no, that's a, hardcore policy no no screenshots to other things so you know there's a lot of people in this group and um you know i expect there to be a few of those a, a few of those who will come back to me eventually and be like all right man it's a shame i really like this guy but it's got to go you know so it's a strict policy man if you really want to stick around um because there's just so much value here so much that you got you got to you got to respect the rules, respect, you know, this is, like you said, we're all moving as a unit and the culture is being cultivated. So anyway, let's get back to it. Um, ATNM, was that the, no, that wasn't the Brazilian mining, was it? No, that was later in the week. Okay. Um, oh yeah, they actually, oh, ATNM was a nice one, a pump and dump. Um, they sent out text messages, alerts, it hit $15 warrants, just like last time and just collapsed. Uh, I got a piece of that in the pre-market, but it actually collapsed a lot more in the daytime. So actually those, they're 
good swings. If you come in with a swing mindset, that's the thing like, that I pointed out, like in my voice audio uh, diary. Um, is is like that one? You have to come in with the swing mentality, or you know, you take what you can get. You know, I took, I I had a target of uh, SSR as a target. I took that ten percent drop, and that's it. You know, but like it ended up dropping like twenty five, thirty percent, and then the next day on top of that. So those pump and dumps, those are probably really good to swing. But like, I'm not swing trading right now. Anyway, Arky Guardian no shares. Oh, yeah, he's using Guardian. Nice. I just interviewed Guardian. Well, I, it came out now, but we did that interview like a long time ago, like in November or December. Um, yeah, Ren posting good stuff, but you know, it's like yeah, he, the white means he's not in the group anymore. You know, it's, he's he, he has continue that mentality though, as as far as the trading mentality is like the stuff you're looking for, news, the ATM. Yeah, you know for sure, and if you want get active in the general discussion and um you know and we can we add some value in there consistently and we'll take it from there we'll, we can we can revisit in the future you know what i'm saying just don't burn any bridges um trka okay so see people are not posting good stuff so Arky's posting he has the weeble um institution and insider information and stuff which weeble surprisingly has good data so it's like good to have the weeble data the interactive brokers data the dilution tracker data the trade ideas data the yahoo data we kind of have an overview of all of them so then we nothing catches us by surprise you know so we can kind of guesstimate or like we can figure out the puzzle you know you throw all the pieces to the puzzle there and we can kind of move them around and figure it out um like I throw, I, I added my trade idea screenshot and I organize it this way. So like you see, if you have trade ideas or something, maybe um, organize it in a similar way. I like to, well, of course, trade idea has the flag. So I got to see if it's like Chinese, Hong Kong, Israeli or whatever, because those are like the sketch ones. Um, I like to see the insider percentage and the institutional percentage. I also like to see their debt. This is something I learned from Adam. Uh, you know, white diamond research. Um, the if it's high, really high debt, it's highly lever, a highly leveraged company. So those those can have really volatile swings, like Bed Bath and Beyond, etc. So like, when there's a lot of debt, it could be bullish momentarily. It could cause a squeeze. So it, it's good to know the debt just to have it there, just to have it there. And then cash, of course, you always want to see their cash position, market cap, revenue to see if you know. What's going on with the earnings? The short float is, is good. Float turnover is really, uh, it's not really that useful, but because like the float sometimes on TI trade ideas is not that accurate. So like, but like whatever, I, I couldn't find anything else to put in the in here to for a column because like I like to have the columns even. Um, Okay, what else? Okay, so the Pina, is i think that's his weeble too yeah anyway wes is pointing out the to see their um bid price uh, they on on may 20th 2022 they had to meet the the bid price minimum of a dollar i think um they got a letter so like now has been more than 180 days or something like that so like that's good information so wes is throwing these screenshots pretty consistently for these stocks under a dollar. He's made that a habit, so that's really good. Um, okay. All right, ATM. No news, paid pump. Yeah, ATM was a good one, man. It was a pre-market one. Popped up uh, 20%, and I hit it right away, man. Right away in the pre-market. I'm looking to do that in a few hours. It's 7.30 p.m. here in the West Coast, uh, 1 a.m. So, like, pre-market for me has been just being on point. Just uh, a lot of it's slow. I, I have – um, I'm going – I'm doing podcast stuff and, like, Photoshop work for the podcast and, like, stuff like that. Staying busy with so many other things outside of the market. And even doing some reading. I read some, like, I'm reading Brian Shannon's book right now. I'm going to interview him, I think, in, a, in two weeks. So, um, but see, as I'm doing all that, I'm still 
watching the market and like whatever pops up, I'm aware of. And I'm talking, I'm really, let's say I'm really warmed up. I'm ready to go. So like when ATNM popped up, I think um 23%, 25% in a period of five minutes and went down. I was like, immediately, I was like, ah, oh, that's the one that sent out the text messages. That's the one that hit the $15 exercise prices last month or two months ago. Boom. I'm I'm hitting this right away. No, no hesitation. Boom. And, and. That's an extra 1800 bucks in my pocket, just like that. So, and that's been happening regularly for me every day in the pre market. So, yeah, um, pre market has been worth it just like that. Look, those ones, whack a moles that show up, uh, only one or two I hit them, and that's that covers that makes it worth it for me to be up. So, as long as that keeps happening, and as long as like I'm sharp enough and ready for the day, like it, it's really helping my intraday shorting because I'm sharp going into the day because I'm already warmed up from all the pre-market. Um, all right, Wes. Wes is doing good. Very good. He's he's our data specialist over here. Um, very good with Polygon as well. Uh, Willem. Good. Okay. Yeah, you know, just talking. Cool. Everything's good so far. Um Arsalan comes here. He's for locates. Yeah, the culture so far, so good. Um, yeah, Aaron, you know, so you were you were good up, up to like the the slip up, you know. I don't know, but uh, you know, sometimes people, maybe something was affecting him, uh, affecting his focus, outside of uh the trading, you know. I don't know, but anyway, when it starts to affect others trading. You know, it's, that's when the problem starts, and like I'm not gonna let that happen. Um, I'm like I, everybody has to be in the same page of giving value and cons being considerate for everybody else's trades in here. We're all trading, we're dealing with a lot of stress. We can't have someone go a wall. It's like you know, um, you you have a, a unit in the military, and you're going in the jungle, and like everybody has to be on the same page, like back each other up and like when someone if you're we have to do a 24 hour shift and someone has to be up while the other guy sleeps we can't have someone going AWOL and then both people sleep and now we're off guard now we're gonna die all of us can't have that everybody has to be on the same page and like like I said man there's a zero tolerance policy um just like in the past and we don't have this problem anymore about like bad information um I haven't, I, you, you haven't, I don't think anybody's here has seen me flip out for bad information in a long time. I don't, I haven't, I haven't flipped out on that because I flip out whenever I see bad information. Um, you know, I, I, I flip out and, uh, I'd be like, what the hell, man, there's no more bad information. You know, I haven't done, I haven't gotten anyone for bad information ever since I called it out, like on that podcast and I called it out in the chat, like that, that the culture has seemed to like in the, in the discord to, we're all on the same page where we, we, we understand that bad information is very detrimental. If you short something and you don't know it's a micro float or, you know, uh, you can, it could be a disaster. Like let's say OCEA on, on um, Wednesday, if you didn't know that was a D spec and the float was micro because some other outlets said it wasn't micro dilution tracker said it was micro or like, so we pointed it out that it was in my, it was micro because of the redemptions and things like that. Then you're not going to be involved in a, in a squeeze like that. But if you have bad information, you're going to short it. And then you're going to find out it's a micro float when it's up 600% and your account's gone. So like, that's why I don't like bad information. And that, and you know, in the, and how do I know that? Because in the past I have, um, I've taken some hits because of bad information. And sometimes those hits, we're like, it, well, of course, it was my own fault because, um, let's say, we didn't have enough go good tools like dilution tracker. I don't remember that information, for example, and, like, I can't get mad at anyone. But, like, when it's someone posting something and it's, like, you're getting the information from some guy that's supposed to be on the same page as you, it's really annoying. See, like, my bad information in the past was, like, Yahoo or Filings Pro or some other stuff that's like never had the correct float or like 
didn't explain like this D SPAC thing or reverse merger. Like I just didn't know enough. And like dilution tracker like has little crash courses and where you can learn it, you know? So, but we didn't have this before. And, uh, you know, I was learning it on my own. I didn't have any friends or anybody to like ask questions. This is before, like I was in Puerto Rico where I can ask like people next to me, Hey, you know, they can explain it. Um, for example, If I saw warrants in the filing, I was like, oh, it's warrants. Let me short it. But, like, they didn't have an effect. They weren't registered. And I couldn't know that because there was no dilution tracker. And, like, I didn't even understand what an effect was, a registration. I just thought warrants. I didn't. It was all just – I'm just trying to figure out myself. It was just basically Michael Good in the webinar once every week or so. And, like, that wasn't a – you know, it wasn't like a daily thing where I can just type to someone and ask them and they can explain it to me. Or there wasn't all these YouTube videos out there explaining it. Now there is. So that's why, you know, I when someone puts out bad information in the past, it hasn't happened recently in a, in a while. And hopefully it never happens. But like when someone posted bad information, I would, uh, I would, I would, I would chew them out. And now I don't, I don't need to do that because it's not happening. But that's why, because in the past. Uh, I used to have bad information, and then, like, I made a lot of mistakes on that bad information. And it's so unnecessary to go through these days because we have good information, like, as almost, like, it's the best information possible for what we do with Dilution Tracker. And it's just getting better. It's just getting better. So there's no reason why someone should be posting bad information. Um, yeah, so, or, you know. You try your best to get good information. Anyway, let's continue. Marcelo, all right. Um, good. See, nice. You got the Willem is posting. Also, make sure when you like like he did, post um the underwriter. Have enough space in there for the underwriter. In progress, you see it doesn't say registered. It's in progress. You can ask. Um, uh, maybe someone can ask. Uh, what's his name? Sean. What does that mean in progress? It means like it's done already. I I don't know. That's one thing we gotta figure out too. It's like these effects. So when when uh it says pending, that sometimes like my understanding is maybe Dorian or someone can ask Sean. Anybody ask Sean? I'm gonna try to remember to ask him too. Because when when it says not registered, does that mean there's like a delayed reaction? Like they have, they could register it, but like they don't have to notify the public until three days later. You know what I mean? Because like, I don't in Puerto Rico. That's something that uh, they they mentioned. It was kind of confusing to me at the time, and I, I didn't know as much as I do now. But like, and I I never figured that out. Like, okay, if a company if it's not registered, they can register it, dump it, and but you know the public finds out three days later. So I know like sometimes Chinese companies, they that was uh, the case apparently, like it would be kind of sketch. So when it says in progress, is that within those three days of like after the registration? So like it, this 10 million shares or 10, yeah, the deal size, that could be already dumped and we won't find out until three days. I don't know. So we got to find out more basically what this in progress means and also the hypothetical of if a company does the registration, the public doesn't find out till three days later and they could have actually done the the dumping before then. And, you know, uh, we need to we need to find that out um, because sometimes you'll see like an exercise price uh, of a warrant or some dilution. But it says not registered. But the stock is the price is heading to that area, so it's like, you know, it's it's sometimes like, damn, it's just kind of fishy. It's going to that area, and and sometimes rejecting off that area, but like it's not registered. So maybe it is registered, but the, the we don't find out that it was the actual registration. Uh, what do you call it? PR than or the press release until three days later. So we need to we need to find that out. All right, guys. So let's uh let's get on that. Um, make a note for Dorian, for West, for 
everybody in here, whoever has that Houston tracker, let's let's uh, bombard Sean with that question. Um, Marcelo, Arky, Sima again. Oh, crypto. Why are you doing crypto in here? Yeah, no crypto in here, man. Let's let's uh keep this clear. I posted my screenshots. I want to see. Yeah, that you guys know. Okay, short of eighteen on that day. Um. All right, so this should be pretty quick. Hopefully, this podcast because oh yeah, kite surfing. I like to use that analogy. Like when a short is going away from you, it's like you're kite surfing. Man. Chinese break dancing. Oh, C-pop. Wasn't it C-pop? I, I didn't think that was this week. Anyway, ATNM, yeah. So big bigger and savvy are two shady um investment banks, by the way. So yeah, we need to see that. And uh then we have the placement agent, Maxim, another shitty one. And um yeah, so make sure to utilize this what Dorian put over here with the bank. So short sale rule. Okay, so anyway, the shittiest investment bank list. AC Maxim. So this is a really good quick pull up over here. We're gonna get better with this. So this this is the kind of stuff that makes us all better. So make sure to to put, to, to utilize this pinned messages and like you know we're going for speed here. So whoever recognizes oh uh, AGP, AGP, boom, should he, should he invest, point it out, uh, in the trade, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, make sure to point that out quickly, we, we need to know that information, it gives you more conviction with the short, or more conviction, like, with AC Wainwright, that there's going to be some, some kind of games being played, they're not going to make it easy, so, like, they're going to squeeze people first, but it is going to be a good short eventually, you just got to be aware, if you don't want to short it too early on an AC Wainwright, for example, or any of them actually, any of these shitty ones. Um MOB BS, yeah, I just was looking at Tim Lentil's webinar and uh, he was going over this one a little bit. Um okay. R and all right. Yeah, all right, man. Just just post in a general discussion, man. If if uh if you still wanna give it another shot, let's let's see if I mean, you know, the the relationship hasn't been burned completely, but like, yeah, the the, the whole stuff that was going on that was too much, man. That's too much. Um, but if you, yeah, he hasn't burned the relationships. So like when someone. Burns the relationship, then it's done. You know what I mean? If someone says, "Hey, f you," and then screw you, and screw, you, and like you're leaving with the with the like uh, with the charade, then it's like done. But he has he hasn't done that, so I don't know. So like, yeah, posting a general discussion, and um, we can see what's up. You know. But yeah, that, let that be an example for everybody. You know, so everybody, if you really like this chat room and you see a lot of value and like you you appreciate it, you gotta you gotta you know. Be on the same page as us, because like, I'm not personally for me, and I can speak for the other guys in here that are six figure and up traders. I'm not gonna, you know, jeopardize my profits for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not gonna. If you're gonna get in the way of me making money, now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. So that's the thing. Like when when this is an unpaid service, this is like a, a real service, not a service. It's like a real group. We're all trying to get rich, we're all trying to get money and trying to do get do this. These other services like Monster, you pay two hundred bucks and you go in there to do whatever, you know, to I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk shit that much shit. But but um then you can you can you can you know act act the, the way you wanna act, but not not in here, man. You're not gonna jeopardize me. If I got you know, if I miss a trade or if I like screw something up, an entry or exit, or if I'm um flinch a little bit or I see myself getting flinched because I'm in some kind of distracted uh argument with you on the side um over stupid stupid stuff like 
you know, center point is better than Cobra or whatever. And like, I have both like, bro. And it's like, yeah, I'm not going to like, it's a no brainer. Cobra is better. Oh, but, but short bear has center point, bro. Short bear has $50 million. He's trading the whole freaking market. Like I'm trading here. The, the, the stocks that are under a dollar making three to th two to 3,000, 4,000 a day. Like, that's what I'm doing. And you're in this chat to be, you know, you're like that. Apparently, you know, you're attracted to that. So like, how is that going to help? Um, and you arguing with me about rebate routes and center point doesn't have a rebate route and all this stuff, man. I, I just made it easy for you. Cobra is the best one. Boom. That's it. We don't got to go and break it down. Like I'm not getting paid to, to answer your questions about Cobra. Like I get a little tiny deal with them, an affiliate deal, they're nice to me. They're extra nice to me. And, like, they're nice to all, all of us. And that's it. That's all it is. That's all it is, man. I'm not here to freaking, you know, try to convince you. Like, no. I got to focus on my trading. I I enjoy making a few thousand dollars a day. And if you're going to get in the way of that, like, you got to get out of the way. You know, I, I I don't want you here. So, anyway, um, and that's it. That's it. That's all. That's what it is. It is what it is. All right. So, um. You can see, but like, let let that be an example for everybody. Like, okay, everybody needs to see that clearly, so like we we move forward from that, you know. Because like I said, you know, like there's a lot of people in this chat. You know what I'm saying? For a private chat, this has a lot of people. I think what? Let's see, 25. It's like 30 people in here. I think Bar Barack has like two profiles. So there's like 29 people in here. That that's a little too much. So like. There's gonna be, um, you know, it's it's just sad to say, but some not everybody's gonna last. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh yeah, Kuke, Kuke is the uh, the karaoke Chinese karaoke thing. Now they switch to like ChatGPT or something like that. That's always a short. King Salini. So you see, that's why like I like to meet people in person too, because I've met Salini in person. So you you know so you don't I don't gotta worry about like I met Art of War in person I met Barack basically in person but I haven't met him in person same thing with Arslan basically you know I've dealt with him forever Justin I met him in person Dorian like I basically I met him in person we did video and podcasts and like we talk all the time Joe I met him in person Johnny the same thing with the others Laza the same thing like I you know we have a, a a relationship. The other guys sell the news, the same thing. I did a podcast site. Uh, the other guys, you know, you know, you got to be careful, man. You got to keep adding value. If you fall to the back and stop adding value, <laughs> you're going to be on a shorter leash because I don't have that relationship with you. So, like, you got to keep up, um, you know, just keep up adding value and and asking the right things. Don't get sidetracked. You know what I'm saying? Just like, like uh, unfortunately, like RN did, you know. Um, it is what it is, you know, so, like, I hate to keep beating a dead horse, but, like, yeah, it's just, you know, it's it's not like I, it, it is what it is, man. Um, you got to keep the, protect the, the Discord over here. Um, all right, we got the bots working. I think we were going to add Flash SEC and Guardian's tweets, because Guardian points out some tickers in the morning, and those tickers are good to see where the overcrowded short sellers are going to, you know, um, which is kind of crazy. You got to look at those to see like the potential, you, you, you take a glimpse at it. We don't, we don't use it. Like we don't depend on it, but we have a glimpse. We're like, okay, that's, I'm aware. Um, I'm aware of that to see where the short sellers are going. Just like when I get all these spam text messages, I get so many spam text messages about pump and dumps. I don't really trade them that much, but recently, that one little glimpse in the morning where I look at my cell phone and see the text, oh, ATM, eight, uh, or the there was one more, GMPX. That makes me money. I made I made like combined with those like five like I don't know like four thousand dollars. Um, that's pretty good. You add it to the end of the year profits, four thousand is a nice little chunk off of the stupid text message that I get. You know, so like just by taking a glimpse at the cell phone, just making it a habit. As part of the daily daily routine, um, but yeah, BS is good. Um, uh, I still have yet to understand what BS stands for. 
so like like bullshit like i don't know but um <laughs> what is it like you know um uh, we can always change the nickname maybe there's a better nickname we can do okay text mess oh by the way text mess text mix does uh the biotechs a lot of the biotechs so like um and he posts like we should be paying attention to whenever text mix posts i know i do i know sell the news does I know Dorian does. I know a lot of guys do, but like that's so the 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 Twitter bot that feeds us this. These are curated. Um, these are curated. They're very useful to like have as a as a quick glance. You know what I'm saying? Ryan, oh yeah, M H U A is like another Chinese stock. That one's gonna be a good short. That one is up on like 360 day lockup period. And you see, I'm mentioning it here deep into the the podcast because, like, I don't want people knowing that kind of stuff that are, you know, a lot of good traders, they don't like to listen to this whole podcast. Um, very few actually do. Uh, I know Brian Lee mentioned in the past, he listened to a couple, like, the 2.0 speed. So maybe he does. And, you know, maybe not anymore. I, who knows? But I know there's not that many good traders that are going to listen to this f the full way through. And that's good. You know, it's like that kind of little information right there, MUHA 365-day lockup. That is useful information for us or whoever listens to this throughout the whole thing. But um, that's on our team. That's on the same page as us. But, uh, yeah, that kind of information I don't want I don't want out there. That can cause a squeeze. All these short sellers want to short it all of a sudden then. Um, okay. But, yeah, we need to know that stuff. In fact, none of us pointed that out. Um we we need to be more on top. So like, let's make it a habit to look at these um Chinese stocks and like these stocks. Uh, this is a quick zoom out to like the max, the max daily chart. And if it's if the stock has IPO'd within the last year, um, make it a habit to see okay, thirty day, forty five day, one eighty day, see if there's been any squeezes along along those checkpoints of the year, forty five day. Well, 30 day, 45, 180, because those are the lockup uh, expirations. So let's let's make that a habit. I don't know if I mentioned that in the past, but uh, a few of the, a few of us know that already. But uh, if we can all get on the ball, so like I know sometimes very few. I, I make that a real bit a real good habit to zoom out. In fact, I'm on my layout over here. I always have the year chart pulled up or like the multi year chart. And if I see it doesn't have that much chart history from the past. Um, I, I'm looking into, oh, okay, this is probably a 180 day lockup, 45 day lockup, 90 day lockup. I'm trying to see if, uh, there's been some fishy action, fishy, fishy action around those time periods. And I make that a habit. So I, I, I don't want to be surprised. Um, cause I know last year, for example, around May, uh, Reed, which is, Reed is doing very well. He's a very good trader. He has a hedge fund now. He's doing very, very well. I remember him one time on a, there was like a AERC. Um, we were shorting all the China stocks nonstop. And then this one, AERC went up like um 60% on the day, whatever. And he went short, he hammered it. And then it went even, it went boom, like 200%. And I was in Thailand, so I wasn't even trading. But I was, I had my laptop pulled up and I was watching. And uh, I was like, oh, fuck, it's, it's a 180 day lockup expiration or 90, something like that. I think it was 180, 180 days, six months, right? Yeah. And he got squeezed on that. So like in in hindsight now, all you got to so say that made a rule. So we, we all made a rule after that. We we're like, okay, all these Chinese stocks, you got to really uh, make it part of your process and double check to see if there's a lockup expiration coming 30 day, 45 day, 180 day. And very rarely you'll see one 365 day one, but sometimes there is. So you have to be aware of those checkpoints, you know, we, as short sellers, we, we got to be cautious. You know what I mean? We got to be cautious because like one squeeze could end your, could really, well, not only end your career, but like, um, they could set you back three to six months. You make three to six months of profits one bad trade. Boom. Now you set back and it's just for one little slip up. You didn't know the, the lock up expiration, you know? And sometimes you maybe you put a starter in there. You're like, oh, and then like, 
that that's good to know. If someone points it out, hey, lockup expiration. Now that you you are you realize it at the right time, so maybe you don't add to that position anymore. You leave the starter in there, and you're like, thank God I I found out. Now you can maybe you can add way later, or you can just you know you you don't you don't take a big loss. You know, so like that's why it's important to always put that information out in the Discord because somebody could use that information. A, a lot of times when people are getting squeezed, they don't they don't want to talk about it. But at the same, you know, and that's fine. You know that that's why you put the information there, and then maybe you know they they you're doing like a a thankless act. You know, you're saving someone, saving one of us. You know, from from uh adding to the position or just getting out for a small loss or something. Because a lot of people don't post their PLs, and that's fine. You don't need to do that. Um, in fact, I don't even like to do it, but like I do it um, to show you guys what I'm trading and also like to keep a record there for me because, uh, yeah, I'm doing the audio recording after the market closes and I, I like to go back and see like what I traded, you know. So anyway, um, all right, what's next? All right. SRNE engineer pointed that out. NFTG, that's a pump and dump that never, never did anything though. But it is a new IPO. Hopefully it, it goes up like crazy. I would love to short that one. All right, what day are we on? Still the twenty first. All right, we're gonna have to speed this up. Um. All right, edge near. So this is good stuff. But you see how it's taking up a lot of my screen space? I know you're doing this from your phone. I don't really need to comment on this, really. That's that's doable. Yeah, that's doable. You're good. But, like, just keep in mind that your screenshots, I'm assuming this is from your phone. Yeah, it's from this phone. Screenshots from the phone take up a little too much space because they're, they're vertical. Um, but hey, if, if you're doing it from your phone, you're doing it from your phone, you know. So there's really no other way. I'm not gonna be like, oh, you gotta clip it with uh, it's too too much, too many steps. We want to get the information and throw it out there, which is what you did. So yeah, that's good. Um, but yeah, just for everyone to keep in mind that the vertical screenshots or the vertical images take up a lot of space. Uh, NMTG, yeah, I think NMTG was doing something. All right. Yeah, they're being saying something nice. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, still in the beginning phase. Opinion, you know, as long as you know what it, what it takes to be in here, you know, do what you got to do. Okay, so, like, I'm keeping track, so the opinion is active over here. Um... SEMA is active, Marcelo, Wes, um, TJ. Oh, yeah, WAG went up. That's a, I applied for a job with them back in the day, man. Can you believe that? To the walk dogs. <laughs> While I was learning trading because I was giving up my Uber job, I was like, man, this Uber thing sucks. I'm so tired at the end of the day. Sometimes I would fall asleep behind the wheel like doze off and I was like damn this is dangerous so I was like I need to find something else to do so I was looking into all types of things I did Uber Eats as you guys saw on my Twitter I got an Uber Eats settlement for like 100 bucks um I don't need it now man I needed it back then though I needed it hardcore back then like 100 bucks eh, back when I was starting out that was a big deal that was a whole days of work I would drive Uber all day long for 100 bucks with a hundred dollar target <laughs> and it would suck. A lot of days I missed the target. I would stop at like eighty six bucks. I would stop. Ninety dollars. I like stop. I'm like, oh man, it's too much. And actually, it's less than a hundred bucks if you consider the gas and the insurance and the car payment and the depreciation of the vehicle. It was less than that. And lunch and dinner and all that. So like, I was. It's a shitty way to live. But anyway, um, at one point I was driving. No, I did a rover, did dog sitting. I did that dog sitting for like a week. And it was just too much work because my landlord didn't like it, you know. So, like, they didn't say anything to me. I asked for permission to do the, the dog sitting, and they said okay. But then, like, there was another dog. 
I think the landlord, yeah, the landlord had a dog, and then the dog that I would bring used to like bark at that dog. So now the landlord, even though they said yes, uh, you can you can dog sit for the week. The the dog I was dog sitting was barking nonstop at the other dog. The other dog would bark, and that's the landlord's dog. So like, obviously, they didn't like that, and like they didn't. The landlord didn't tell me anything, but I knew it was just awkward. So anyway, I also applied for WAG. So WAG was another dog service where you take dogs for walks. It's it was harder to apply. They they did like background checks, like hardcore, and they check it, it take a you have to pay for the background check and like it was just a, a a longer process. So I didn't even go through with it because like they wanted so much information and like you had to pay uh for for a deposit and like all this extra stuff. Um so I didn't I didn't ended up not doing it. Uh but anyway, I did find tutoring. Tutoring um was great. Tutoring pay, like tutoring kids for all types of subjects in math, science, art. I even tutored one kid in baseball. Um you know, I did art. my favorite was the architecture tutoring in like the college. Like I used to I felt like I felt like they were valuing my what I had to say. Like when you tutor kids and stuff, it's like the parents think of you like I don't know, like it's just like they they didn't value it. But like I here I am with a master's in architecture, especially back then, and like I'm making like minimum wage and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like it sucked. But see, when I when I tutored the college kids with architecture, I felt like like uh I felt like really some kind of, a little bit of respect. You know, when I showed up over there and like. They would want to hear what I had to say, but like these other jobs, like you don't want to respect it anything. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of a dog, I'm driving a pizza down the street with Uber Eats, driving some drunk people. Yeah, it sucked, man. But like I saw a uh, a way out of it was the trading. So you 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 for sure I was studying every day, man. I was, uh, those audio books I would have them playing all the time, all the Tim Sykes videos playing all the time. I would park, drive. And take I would take a lot of breaks too. That's why I never hit the hundred dollar target as much as I should have because I would drive and park at at Target because Target had free parking for two hours and next to UCLA in in Westwood in LA and I would study two hours at a time like the Tim Sykes and I would use the internet too. I would study the Tim Sykes videos, the a couple of books that I had and I would just sit there and, and just study. I didn't even order a coffee or anything, just sit, sitting there and study. And then, um, and then I would get the, the ticket validated or whatever, and then go drive Uber Eats or just go, or go pick up someone to, you know, for Uber, I don't know, or Lyft or whatever it is, man. And uh, then I would go back to, I would, I would work for like 20, 30 bucks and then I'd come back and do the same thing, park at the, at the Target Starbucks and do the same thing all over again. I did that for many months, man. Um, I must have done that for like six months. The whole driving period, that's what I was doing. And uh, yeah, it sucked. But like, I didn't, I, you know, the thing is people, when you drive them, they they just put you in a box, like the people sitting in the back seat or whatever, if you will see you deliver or tutoring or dog walking or whatever, they just see you like you're going to do that forever. And I, that used to just piss me off, man. But it gave me a fire to like, really learn trading and stuff because I, you know, I was like, man, I want to prove all these people wrong, you know? So it just, um, even though you never see those people again, but like, just, you know, it's like when people view you like that and, you know, you know, that's not you, um, that you're onto something bigger and better. It's just, it can be, a, it can be a motivation, you know? And for me, it was, you know, I, I didn't like these people, um, looking at me like, I'm just like, for example, even the tutoring, the the parents when I tutor they're like oh this is just a tutor, you know I was like come on man I'm just a tutor I'm just a teaching middle school math I'm just just a tutor like that's it's terrible man to be classified as something or like oh he's just the Uber driver you know people have full on conversations in the back seat oh he's just an Uber driver I just you know or you know, disrespecting straight up disrespecting you like saying rude things and like giving you direction like you're just some kind of animal you know <laughs> it's like man it, like i wanted out of that so like i went hard i went i went super hard and uh yeah now now i'm beyond that but i'll tell you what it was it was um it was a good way to to study the stock market you know and 
I think now as well, now as well as a good, good, uh, you have all those things you can do. You don't have to work nine to five. I mean, if you do work nine to five and you can get a lot of money like that, sure. So you have a stake to trade with, but, um, the way I did it, I just did all these little odd jobs so I can have time to study. And yeah, the Uber driving thing didn't last as long. Uh, I think like six months until I discovered the other ones because Uber driving just drained you. Tutoring, at least I, I would tutor two hours a day and then I'm good. I could study the rest of the whole day. Uh, Uber, like, man, for a hundred bucks, just exhausting, man. It's exhausting. But uh, hey, you know, it's if you got to do it, you got to do it, you know. So put the audio on and, and cruise away, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's my whole story with WAG. Um, I didn't short it though. I was like, "Oh, this is a real a real company." Oh, they had earnings coming out. They have some cash. Insiders, high insider percentage, by the way. Um, okay. Uh, this is the. Um, someone pointed out what what was it? Um. Insider transactions. Okay, so TJ pointed out something about insider transactions. And yeah, that's kind of throws people off. So like, we just need to know insider ownership, institutional ownership. Insider transactions can get kind of confusing. Maybe you can just point it out, and but you gotta you gotta put like a one liner explaining it or something. Um. It, it threw Dorian off. For me, I didn't read that much into it, so like it didn't throw me off. But like it could have. If if Dorian's getting thrown off, then it could it could lead to some other people misinterpreting it, also. So yeah, just um, it threw Dorian off. So like yeah, just we don't really need to know the insider transaction. If you're gonna point it out, maybe just um, make make sure there's a clear different different differentiation between the insider ownership and the insider transaction. Hey, I noticed insider, you know, these little small words go a long way. Like, for example, when I post something, I'm like, this is, a, there's a probability that, not like this is or or the stock is going to go down. No, you say like the odds are, the probability is. So these, these words make it clear to others um, your stance on it. And a lot of times, you know, it's, it's, you assume that people know that already, but you know, it's just, you, you, this is all on the internet, like typing and stuff. It's not like voice or video or in person. So like, it's, it's easier to read the other person's take on it through like video or in person or whatever. But we, unfortunately that's not the case. So like you just, um, make sure you, you are clear in the communication, you know, or tr yeah, try your best to be. So it doesn't throw anybody off, you know. Um, okay, looks like we went through with that. Um, that's why it's good we do these videos, you know, get everybody on the same page. Okay. Good. Oh, yeah, th these um little things, I know it seems small, but, like, they go a long way. We want to be... You know, acknowledging good stuff that we find useful. Put a hundred, put a fire. There's a little bear symbol. You know, do do you you know what you want? Let's see. You know what I mean? Use the bear one, fire. Like, let's let's uh, something small that goes a long way. You know what I mean? Um. All right, let me try to go quicker. Okay, so Boilermaker pointed out the Lockheed. Yeah, this is good because, like, you know, we saw a lot of aerospace stuff moving. So Boilermaker knows what he's doing. I think he, he has a history, a background in the aerospace industry, um, which is a great resource for all of us. Um, okay, just going to cruise through here. See, so yeah, I shorted SRNE. I'm pretty sure that was under a dollar stock. How how am I able to do that? What do you think I'm doing in the pre market? Like I'm I'm rotating shares around with a broker that has like super small commissions. 
you know, if you have center point, you don't have the best commissions and you don't have the ECN fees waived because you don't have the rebate route. So the rebate route for under a dollar of stocks, it doesn't charge ECN fees. It doesn't give you rebates, but it doesn't charge you ECN fees. The other brokers like center point or, well, guardian in the pre-market guardian has that T H I Z L route in the regular hours that you can, that doesn't charge ECM fees. Um, but in the pre-market, it does. So, it's like Cobra is good. And uh, I think Success Trader, too, in the pre-market, the MICL route, it, it, it works most of the time, but sometimes there's some something going on with it. It's not as efficient as the Cobra one. But I'm able to rotate the shares <coughs> because I'm not getting ECM fees. So you So, you can't even... You see how this is a good amount of money? Like I'm getting, let's say, 40 bucks was commission. I'm getting 500 bucks for trading something super easy. That was a stress-free trade. I was just moving around a little bit here and there and, and just keep me occupied in the pre-market off this piece of shit stock that was up a lot for no reason or, uh, or something stupid. And uh, I'm able to do that because I'm using – the, the the broker that doesn't charge ECN fees for that and and the commission is super low, so you know center point you don't do that you can't even trade that with center point you might you might have lost money just on ECN fees alone or who knows what like you you, you can't trade it like the way I'm trading it so yeah so that's one of the reasons why you need you need a broker that has no ECN fees in the pre market and uh, yeah it's that's that you know. And to to say that you're gonna convince them when I was in Wall Street, literally there and like on the phone with the the brass, <laughs> and in Wall Street, I'm in a suit and tie, you know, uh, in Wall Street, you know, I'm not gonna get into too many details, but if you can, if you've been following the podcast and, and know my social media, or whatever, you can figure it out. But uh, you know, I'm in here with the freaking thousand dollar suit on tailored and like i'm in the freaking conference room telling it yo just copy this freaking rebate route let's do it and and <laughs> and i have a full freaking podcast i have like all this stuff going on and you with your 20 your twenty eight thousand dollar account you think you can just do you can uh you, you can convince them to i don't know bro it's just ridiculous ridiculous um I don't know, man. Some people are just delirious, man. Maybe he's, maybe he was drunk. Um, yeah, the play, uh, Tom Cruise, Presty Jack. Okay, so, anyways, I'm getting kind of tired here. Uh, what else? I think we're good. TN. So TN came out with the code. Like, you know, he's one of these coding guys. He's coming up with a lot of good stuff. Him and and Wes. Good. It's like whenever we see this, guys, whoever doesn't know what TN is posting, this stuff is like it scrapes stuff from several different sources that we use. And he is he's doing all all the stuff that we need is here. This is like a better version of trade ideas um, for him. So he has the float. I think he gets it from like Dilution Tracker. Uh, he scrapes Dilution Tracker. He gets the insider, institutional, short interest. So like he's getting it from multiple sources. And he's getting the news, um, the active filing, even the, you know. So like, his his uh, screenshots are very good. We need to utilize this. So when he whenever so Tian keep posting these. These are really good. Um, so we can get a you know co we can confirm them with all all our types of uh, screenshots. Saidu's okay, good. So we're getting information from everywhere. Um, Saidu. Yes, I do this piece of garbage. It, it jumped up and faded. I was comparing it to the previous. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was like a previous run off similar news. Oh, yeah. So they, I remember they posted, they regurgitated the same news from months ago. So it's good to look. It's good to look at the when a stock did um, another move. And, and you can tell like on the on the year chart. Or the, I like to use the 180-day four-hour chart on Thinkorswim because you can see the in the pre-market and after-hours moves within the the 180-day four-hour chart. The the daily chart only shows the intraday moves, 
the bars from the intraday moves. But if you use you use the 180 day four hour chart, you can get the pre market and after hours. And on a stock like Saidu, it's important because they put out press releases in the pre market and they regurgitate it. So like this move was similar. It had a big move in the past, like the what it did last week. It did it last year on the same news. And you can you can you know so what you do is you look for uh, a big volume day on on the one eight hundred eighty day four hour chart, and then you you see you investigate. Okay, let me look at the news. Of what what happened that day? Like oh okay, so I did a, another SpaceX news PR came out that day. Now you have all these bag holders from that area to the current area, so it gives you more conviction. So if or if it did look at what it did that day, so if it just dumped at the open off of the SpaceX news. It's probably going to do that now, especially now. I think the float is even bigger, so like it gives me extra conviction. So like that's why I shorted Saidu as well. Um, as you can see, I, I got a little clip of that. These two shitty under dollar stocks. You can't do that with Centerpoint, bro. They're both under a dollar. You're going to lose your ass. You know my favorite terminology. You, you, <laughs> lost his ass. So you, you're going to lose your ass on ECM fees. You know, and lose your ass on commissions. So, like, you can't even do that. Look at that. I made a thousand dollars in one day because I because of the broker. You know, the broker came through. I chose the right broker. I, I managed, and I have all the brokers. So I'm able, by my knowledge of the brokers of what broker is good for what, I'm able to nail these two, and that's another thousand dollars in my pocket. You know, um, if you have the wrong broker, you know, a thousand dollars just. It, it went to me and not to you. So, like, it is what it is, man. So, like, that's why when I got into, the, like, our end is, like, nonstop. An end or whatever, I, you know, it's, like, nonstop arguing. It's, like, it's a no-brainer, man. It's, like, there's no discussion. Like, there is no discussion. It Like, Cobra is the best one. It, all this stuff that I, I've already mentioned is is uh, end of discussion. It's no discussion with it. Um. Yeah, I, I don't care what the short bear does. I don't care what all these other traders do. They don't trade like me. And like I need a thousand dollars. I like a thousand dollars. I'm not at the level yet where I have a fifty million dollar account. I'm like, ah, a thousand dollars is not even worth my energy, you know. So it, you got to be able to understand that, like where where people are at. And this chat over here, we we care about a thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure everybody in here cares about a thousand dollars and cares, you know. And it's like we want to, um increase our odds for these smaller plays that's what we do in here that's why everybody's here you know so yeah we're, we got to be on the same page with that so if you want to argue go somewhere else and like I, I'm, I keep mentioning it because you know um we got to make that very clear you know we got to make it very clear and and uh i want to use that as an example for everybody else because like you know hopefully i mean there's there's 29 people in here Hopefully that's you know we we all get along and and the rest is is all is all a beautiful utopia but like the reality is from my experience there's gonna be a couple a few people that you know um don't see you know they're gonna be problematic and uh and that's that's when the you know you you don't get the analyst status anymore <laughs> that's it it is what it is um all right what's next? Yeah, Amp Trades, he's another good one to be aware of, of like what's going on. All right, what else? Oh yeah, we got Flash SEC in here. Good. They they point out good stuff like dilution tracker. Um and they have like a little one liner. It, it uh you can learn a little thing or two, you know what I mean? Um just something to take note of. I post a screenshot of the pumps, JFBR. Did I short? I don't even know. Okay, well, um, Weiju, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I shorted, I shorted that one very good. I made like twenty bucks off it. Mini trades, oh yeah, make sure guys to look at the pumper section, um, for mini trades and all these guys. So like, we have all a collection of pumpers and it's locked. It's only available to the analyst status. By the way, the education. Pumpers, trade floor, that's analyst status, man. So, like, you know, um, 
by the way, whoever wants to get the analyst status, you can. You're just it, you're just a barrier to entry is is hard right now because like it can't get overcrowded. So if you really want to get in here, you know, post in the general discussion. I don't care like the, if you're talking to yourself. You know, it doesn't matter you, you, if you if you really want in. You post, you keep posting, 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 be consistent. And, if, you know, it's, you're probably going to be talking to yourself. And then I'm going to go in there and see, let take a little glimpse. Dorian's going to take a little glimpse. Uh, a few of the guys are going to take a little glimpse. And they'll be like, hey, this this, uh, this guy, you know, maybe you should look into bringing him, bringing him on. You know, he's he's relentless. Uh, but most people are not. And I'm cool with that. You know, I'm cool with that because we already have an, enough people in here. You know, the squad is filled. So, like, if you really want to be part of it, you got to go that extra step, you know, Get to the general discussion. Maybe, um, I don't know, you're going to have to be creative, find a way to get my attention or Dorian's attention and show that you're really, you really, you, you know, you're really about it, you know. So um, I think the general discussion is the way to do it. Just keep posting in there and the the, the times I look in there, I really look to see what, who's the potential um person to bring on or if you're like a six-figure trader and you don't have any other groups you're part of um or if you're part, part of other groups but you want to be part of this one and you understand the rules and understand what's going on and and uh that could work too it's all about you know value reciprocation so um yeah but yeah if if you know i think a, a really good place to do it is a general discussion just post and i'm going to go over that after i go over this um I've been posting the corporate actions from Success Trader. They post like the reverse splits and stuff, which is clear. I like the way they do it. It's fun. It's crazy how the other brokers don't do this, but they, they definitely do. Um, okay, Dorian. So we have, there's this app that Laza told me about. It's called Take a Screenshot app. I think it's. Yeah, light shot. It's called light shot. So light shot is good for um, you know, getting the screenshot like this and boxing it. It has these tools where you can copy and paste with these like little these things that Dorian does is so helpful, you know, so helpful. Because we're, speed is everything. We need to be really quick with everything. So like if we can get on the same page of doing these things. This would be like next level. If we have everybody on the same page of doing of, or being able to do that, that's that's a huge positive. It shouldn't just be Dorian doing it. Um, I know Saita, when I was with uh, Saita in, in another chat, he would do these things too. And he still does it here, but um, he's just got a lot going on. But uh, hopefully he posts here in the future more. But like he he's the man for that. So it shouldn't just be Dorian doing these things. I'm gonna try to do more, but um, we gotta all be able to do it. I know Luke, Luca, Lucas is um, he does those a lot too. But uh, he's in he's in Thailand right now. Let's see, 90 day lockup ages. Alexander Capital is the agent. Let's see, so then Ad Alexander Capital, we go here. Where's Alexander Capital? Uh, let's see, okay. Okay, so I don't see Alexander Capital here. So uh, it's not as shitty as, as we would like. Um, see, uh, yeah. What is this post here? Good to know. Blah, blah, blah. The worst agents, Alexander Capital. Okay, ECX. Oh, yeah, I go to SPAC Tracker. I think that's the website, and I posted the SPAC. It's actually really, really handy uh, for last week, just tracking all the SPACs. Yeah, Microflow, ECX and Microflow. Um, all right, we got to speed this up because, like, this is taking forever. Why did I post this? Okay. Yeah, we're just checking nonstop to see the floats um, everywhere. See, over here, if when I post a trade idea screenshot, always look, there's a Hong Kong flag. Hong Kong is like a star in, a, in red. It's like 
a little different than the Chinese one. All right, all right, what else? It's taking way too long. Let's do one of these big ass scrolls. Um, oh yeah, I I looked at this. It was okay. This video. Um, yeah, TJ, po good you post here because in the pre in the pre market, you get, you know you can use your discretion. In the pre market, it's kind of slow, so we need something to look at. Um, that was good here, but most of the time you want to post that in general discussion. Um, Red X, oh yeah, we had this another freaking under dollar stock. You know, like. You need the right broker to trade that. I'm not going to go on a rant again, but like I made a, a little bit of money off that. Where did I post it? Yeah, JNC, I made 250. See, it's like these things stack up. And like, for me, that's like a warm up. When it's like a five in the morning, or like for me, it's like freaking 2.30 in the morning over here, West Coast. This is a warm up trade. So like as I'm doing Photoshop work for the podcast, editing stuff, writing emails, inviting people for me to make 250 as I'm doing that. That's cool. You know, so, and I have shares located and everything. And that's because I have the right broker. So yeah, you know, so I'm not going to go on a rant again, but yeah, it's a consistent thing. Like I'm getting paid really well. Oh yeah. Look, GMPX pump and dump. And then it came up here. Uh, yeah. I put a disclaimer. I'm surprised no one else was on GMPX. That was pretty good. See, thousand dollars off that, and I shorted uh, in the daytime even some more. Um, you know, look at that. Then it fell even more like crazy. So I shorted it here in the pre market, and it just ended up dumping all day and the next day. So somebody was dumping hardcore. It was a sell the news event. But I think this was Tuesday. So I think Friday or Thursday, the week before. It, it had like some FDA news. So that goes to show you like an FDA news is a sell the news event. Like sell the news, Corey pointed out in the podcast we did. Actually, whoever hasn't seen that podcast, I really suggest looking at it. That That is a solid podcast. That's like what I, that's one of the reasons why I love doing podcasts in the first place. Um, yeah, sort of macro jabber. I was working on that. By the way, I designed this. I designed the whole logo. It's like a CIA kind of thing, theme. But uh, yeah, I'm working on that, and that's gonna be fun for the rest of the year when uh, we're gonna do that. Um. All right, all right. Let's see what else. All right, man. It's kind of exhausting. OCA. All right, I already went over all this. Like, if you haven't subscribed to my audio journals whatever like uh for the friendly bear podcast website i go over everything of um o c a b a e r um all these these back micro floats which is good good value you know so yeah um all right what else all right, now I think I need to see the people. Let's take a rundown of the people. Engineers active, Marcelo active, Tien active enough, Wes active enough, Arky. Did I see ankle biter? I didn't see ankle biter too much this week. All right, ankle biter, let's let's get active over here. Um, for the most part, you're active, but like, you know, uh, yeah. Get get more active. Um, BS active enough. Active. The art guy, maybe get a little more active. I know he's just a, a part-time trader. The Pina, I haven't seen him being active enough. Um, get active. Frenchie twenty five. Uh, I don't know. I I didn't really see much of the of of uh, activity. So they get get more active. JV trader active enough. Everybody here is active enough. He's on vacation. He's on vacation. Ryan is cool. Um, Sight is cool. Selling is cool. See him again. Um, you know, I think he's he's working on the active stuff. But yeah, I think I saw him in there. TJ, active enough, I believe, right? 
TJ needs to get more active. All right, guys, and then Willem. All right, so Willem is is fine. Um, so ankle biter, Debinha, Frenchy twenty five, TJ. See him again. I think he's okay. Oh, TJ, I think I saw him here. Okay, I guess not TJ. TJ, I'm, I'm uh, TJ, you're cool. All right, never mind. Not TJ. Let's do it again. All right, so ankle biter for sure. Frenchie 25 for sure. That's about it. So Frenchie 25 and ankle biter. You got to get more active, man. Especially Frenchie 25. I don't think I've seen Frenchie 25 in here at all. The arts and Agon is look. He, he's good. He's a solid trader. He's a, he's a six figure trader, and I know I, I I have a history with him. So like he's cool. I'm not gonna just get on his ass. <laughs> yeah, you know. So um, all right. I think Frenchie twenty five. Now now the, the my eyeballs are set on Frenchie twenty five. Let's see. Um. Yeah, Engineer has been a good uh, addition to the group, man. Came out of nowhere. Um, yeah, solid dude. Successful trader too. He made he made a killing on off of the hyper scalping. Um, we got Art of War in here too now. Okay, so Art of War. Yeah, Art of War is solid. Um, he's gonna be really active. He's studying all the all the bear talks, and uh, yeah, you know. So I do the. Business credit stuff with him, really, really good friend of mine. So like, um, it's he's he's coming into the world of short selling, and he's studying all the bear talks, and you know he he is he gets shit done. So like, it's gonna be cool to see uh what his takeaways from all those bear talks. He's starting with one and going through all of them, and uh, and he's already a good uh, trader. He's already a sick trader. So like, he is he's learning all that. All right, now let's general discussion. So, so yeah, Frenchie twenty five is the one that needs to get active. Frenchie twenty five. I think that's about it. Yeah, Frenchie twenty five. We got and ankle biter. Which ankle biter? I thought he was pretty active. I don't know. I guess this time around he's uh maybe he's he's you know he's doing some, he's busy. Yeah, see him again. He's good. Okay, so ankle biter and Frenchie twenty five. You're you're um gotta get more active. All right, let's see. General discussion. What day is this? Twenty fourth. Start with the twenty first. Twenty third. Scroll up. Give it this wheel of spin. Okay, twenty second. All right. Twenty first. Okay, that's good enough. All right, so King Selene is posting his his journals here. He's been doing really well with the journals. You guys should like to check check that out. This is how to journal, and it's mostly self talk, you know. So it's like you're doing it for yourself and you, um, to for self improvement. And he's putting it out there to see who can who reads it and who gets value from it. So like, mostly that's for him, which is great. Um, Dimitri posting, and this new new guy here. Uh, accountability, 1R, okay, Axel, Short Bear, we have his Twitter stuff going here, Rockman, okay, he was active last week, hopefully he continues, let's see, Profitable, Arky, Star, Drivers versus Passenger Seat. I encourage everybody that's like new, you gotta watch more I have a lot of podcasts, man. Um I wish I had those podcasts. I would watch them all. Well, first you watch them all one point oh speed, but then once you get the gist of things, you can speed up to one point five and then later two point oh. You can knock them all out. Like if I was starting out right now and I was interested in, in this guy David and how he's trading, I would um I would dedicate like a month and just watch all the podcasts, every single one. And uh, 
And then that's how I will start going down the rabbit hole. I will knock that out in one month, everything. And then I'll, I'll whatever person I'm interested, like branching out of that, then I would do the same one month and then something else and then something else. And then, you know, all this knowledge compounds. Um, okay, Arsalan, yay, nice. Taking you for a ride. All right, um, good. All right, I'm just star is active. Okay, Axel. King. I'll try to post in here more, but it's like I got I got a lot going on personally. Oh yeah, this guy Goshock. I'm gonna interview him. He's really good with like data and statistical observations and stuff. Um Wag, oh yeah, that's the pet ship show. All right, what else? Oh yeah, I posted this is a really good uh interview with Austin. That was fun. Um Ship Show, that's good. Yeah, keep that up. Rick Sanchez, I think he was uh he just joined. Um Rick Sanchez, Rick Sanchez, Edgar. It looks like it's getting more active here. So yeah, if you guys, you know, get more active, you know what I'm saying? If you consistently, if you want to join, if you want to be in consideration for the trading floor. Uh, Viper, okay, look, Viper's posting a lot. What's he posting? Yeah. Oh, look, he, he likes the quote I had. Okay, with Corey. Great. Okay, so he's he's getting stuff out of the podcast. All right, man. So you need to go go deeper. That's a good start. Go deeper. Okay, okay. This is Vipers. I'm re I'm just reading them, so now I have them in the in my head. Oh. Our end is still around. All right, so like hopefully, or maybe that was earlier in the week. Yeah, that was when when uh. Okay. Um. Good. I started the macro driver thing. Rick Sanchez. Yeah, if you guys, so if you guys want to get active in here, point this stuff out, like. VWAP rejection, okay, that's kind of obvious, but like this one, OCA pumpers attention, low flow, even point out it's a micro flow, D SPAC, like that's when you're going to get my attention, like in the general chat, like, okay, now this guy speaks our language, you know, you don't got to be a, like a super profitable trader or anything, or even profitable at all, but like if you, if you help us discern these stocks faster, that's, that's value, that's a lot of value, be like OCA, um, D SPAC, uh, high flyer this morning. It no halts in the pre market. It's gonna. It looks like it's gonna halt. It's trading in a volume right now. It looks like it's gonna halt several times at, out of the open. It's a uh, micro float. The redemptions. I check. I, I talked with Sean on dilution tracker. This is what he told me. Um, keep an eye on the other D spacs. Uh, D spacs were up yesterday on light volume and like moving uh, uptrend, and now they're going even higher. Be careful shorting these. Stuff, stuff like this, stuff that's going to either prevent us from getting squeezed and losing our ass or make us some money. Like, you know, a, 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 it's going to help us put the puzzle together so we can trade better. You know, so, yeah, that's what we're looking for. So but this is a good start, you know. Sun pop. Okay, like, that's cool. But, okay, so Sun, it's a dead cat bounce from, like, when the – what is it? Chat GBT going up and now it's like it's a SSR is triggered and you know it's I don't know it's it, a chat GBT is dead. The last Ch chat GBT stock uh, died out of the gate. The chat GBTs point something out besides just like a pop, you know, SON pop. Like that's that's not enough. We got to get some depth to that. Some like we need a you need to paint the picture a little bit better. Not per you don't need to do it perfectly, but like something more than just S O N S O U N pop. Like that's not enough. S U N U N like something simple like 
um, spike, you know, or S U N. Like I don't know, it's not enough. It's not enough. We need we need a little bit more information than that, and it doesn't have to be a lot of information. It's just something something we can, you know, we can uh we can picture in our head, you know, uh, going on with the stock. We can understand. Okay, it's, it is a trade. It is not a trade, or it's on my radar. It's not on my radar. Okay, so D Wade trade. So we got Dwayne Dwayne Wade over here. Um XO. Screenshots are good. Yeah, I see these guys posting some screenshots. Um Slam Farino. Rock so Rockman is uh is posting a lot. Okay, good. Get active, start asking questions. Yeah, for sure. You know, you do that enough times, then then um things start to click. You start to figure it out on your own, and then you start to point. You watch the the this kind of podcast together, things click, and then you know uh in a little bit amount of time you'll be in the trading floor. Um, and then your your growth will be exponential. Now you can get like the education, you can have the pumpers, you can talk to all of us, you know. But you gotta you gotta. You know, show you're you're ready for that somewhat. You know, um, all right. Looks like that's it. Yeah, I'm kind of exhausted. So this is um, cocaine bear. Yeah, I don't know if everybody saw it this weekend. You know, but yeah, uh, I'm waiting for. I haven't seen it yet, actually. I was I was gonna see it. I was too exhausted. Apparently, it was pretty good. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna post this up, and everybody can watch it in the pre market. I'll see you guys later.